What's up neighbors? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time. I am into another girl next door and I am back with another video. And those of you who are new to my channel, my channel focuses on all things care. That's self-care, hair care, skin care, and some lifestyle. So I would say today's video is sort of like a lifestyle video because as you can see by the title in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorites my cool home lifestyle favorites whatever you want to call it and i got a little bit of everything i got some hair care some fragrances some body care and just care and whatever makeup etc if you're interested in seeing what my favorites are go ahead stay tuned before we go ahead and move forward you're gonna go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button Okay, y'all, so first thing first. My first favorite is this lip combo I have going on. I know you guys, I know it stuck up to you guys when you guys first clicked on this video. Like, I know you noticed that lip combo, just like the whole face, right? Like, ain't I looking good? That's crazy, because I'm looking so good. Anyway, so the first favorite is this lip combo, which is this MAC Chestnut Pencil. And this right here, this Rihanna um, gloss, and this is uh, in the shade Fussy. I have been picking up this lip combo. Let me tell y'all how I chose this lip combo. So one day I was like, I don't know what I was doing. I think I had to do something for work and I wanted to like do myself up and I was rushing. And I'm like, oh shucks, I don't got nothing on my lips. And in my bag, I had just so happened to have this chestnut pencil and I had this gloss. Now, I was like, okay, we're going to put something together. Now, this is a common neutral look you probably see a lot of people wear. But for me, you know, I don't wear a lot of lip pencils. This is just something I started doing more over quarantine. Of course, in the past, when I would wear like a lip pencil, like with my lip combination, it would be like for special occasions or pictures or something like that. So I'm normally not a pencil girl just on the regular. But honey, this lip combo, it just looks so good. Let me give you an up close because I have it on now. I had to just like show you guys like how good it looked. And it's a neutral color. This Fenty gloss is just popular anyway. Actually Fenty launched more um, shades of this gloss. So I'm really excited to see that. But yes, this has been my go-to, my faves. So those of you who are looking for something that it's subtle, but it's still popping like a bomb lip combination is my favorite. So favorite one my next favorite are these little cute sock slippers now as you can see they're mickey on them and i actually have a pair on now let me see if you guys can see yes i'm flexible <laughs> um i think this is a sonic dude on them but anyway that was pretty ghetto but these sock slippers so bomb and convenient Okay, so I bought that. I purchased these from Burlington. The ones I had on, have on now, I actually purchased those first um, from Burlington like a couple months ago. And I have a lot of bedroom slippers. Let me just say that. The reason why I purchased these because my carpet in my living room, I hate walking on carpet with just shoes on, even my bedroom slippers. But I also hate walking around bare feet feet barefoot whatever bare feet whatever you know what i'm saying so i'm like okay and i'll walk around with socks on but even if my floor is clean dirt and those little cracks and stuff like that it still can pick up on your socks so something about that didn't sit well with me either because i would find that i felt like my socks was getting dirtier so i went into burlington Oh my gosh, and I found these, which were probably about four or five bucks. And yo, this is one of my favorites. Like, I wanna go back and get me like three more pair because I know I'm an OD um, wearing them. But yes, yeah, so when I get out of the shower, or even if I'm just home all day and I don't want to put on socks because I don't want to walk around just with socks on. So I want to feel like I have like some foot coverage, you know, like a sock feeling but it's kind of slippery like <laughs> i hope i'm describing it right i pick up these so i like these because i wear these i don't just like walk outside with these because that defeats the whole purpose of me stepping on my carpet but i can wear these and step on my carpet and it's clean and i also can sit indian style on the couch and not feel like oh my gosh my shoes are on a couch that's dirty 
no these little slipper sock thingies like i said i'm gonna give me a couple more pair but these are a favorite of mine like no lie just it's just bomb i'm gonna just say that so this is uh, it's my second favorite okay. my next favorite here is this taraji p henson protein power gel mask now y'all <laughs> This is my third bottle, okay? So I've heard really mixed reviews with the Taraji's uh, hair products. I actually did a whole wash day routine review um, using this line so you could, or some of her products from this line so you could actually go and find that video and see my review. But when I first purchased this, I was like, oh my gosh, because it had no slip. It wasn't like your ordinary mask. So it pissed me off. So, but anyway, I pay like, 15 to 17 dollars i don't even remember for this mask and i'm like oh girl you wearing this mask and the texture of it i don't even want to just like open it because but like i'm gonna just put a little bit to see the texture of it is like really really light and when you put it on your hair you don't see any residue you don't see anything on your hair it looks like nothing completely on your hair but honey when you put it in your hair, work it in your hair, put a mask on, or you can sit under your dryer with this, your hair, once you wash it out, not only got them curls popping, but it is soft, y'all. Like, no exaggeration. Your hair is so soft. Like, you can't even, like, it's so soft. This, and so I thought I was just, like, boosting it up the first time. So I'm like, let me use it a second time. So I used it again. And I'm like, okay, I got the same results. I really like this mask. And so this has been implemented in most of my latest wash day routines. Now I haven't done like an updated wash routine in a while. It definitely has changed, but as you guys know, recording hair wash routines takes so much, but I will be giving you guys an update video soon. However, I'm not sure if this is gonna be in there or not because I don't know if I want to try something new or continue with what I know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So this gel mask, this is for both coily and curly hair. And I have very coily, curly hair. I have a combination of both. So if you have like that real, your curls are very tight, this mask is for you. Now it could be off-putting in the beginning. I'm not going to lie. It is off-putting because it's not like your regular texture mask or it doesn't look like that. But honey, the results... I'm telling you, I think this is more of a deep treatment mask if you um, ask me. So when I do use this, I do sit under the dryer. So yeah, this is my third favorite. Shout out to Taraji. And actually, speaking of Taraji, she came up with this Bellum hairline, but she also has a directory for those of you who are interested in mental health services. So we all know, and I, I just had to throw that in because those of you who don't know, I am a licensed mental health professional. So um, that's what I do. That's my career. YouTube is, you know, it's gonna be my second career, but <laughs> I am a licensed therapist. But Taraji, she has um, a directory for those of you who may be interested in therapy, like counseling, couples counseling, individual counseling, family counseling, but you don't really know where to start. All you have to do is go to her, let me get you the correct, because I'm on the directory and I don't even know <laughs> the exact name for the directory. That's so ghetto. So basically it's www.borislhensonfoundation.org. Boris okay, so just to, to type in Taraji P. Henson um, directory for therapists or something like that. So I am on the uh, directory, but I see clients who are located in South Florida or just a Florida area period. So I had to throw that out there because she do have that. She's not only a great actress and just a beautiful black woman, but she has a hairline and she has a uh, mental health foundation to link people in the community, black communities, but specifically, but all communities with clinicians of color. So yeah, next favorite. Oh my God, y'all. This is, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Pacifica. I don't like pronouncing stuff wrong, but this is a bath and body, a body bath and shower oil. And this is in the lavender rose. So just a little bit about me. I don't like putting lotion on. Now I do it cause I have to, but it ain't my favorite. 
when I get out of the shower, for some reason, I do not feel like putting lotion on. It's just, it's, it's crazy because I really don't. However, um, what I love about this, and I had tried the Olay body lotion too, shower body lotion. Um, I can't remember what made me get this, but I ordered it off of Ulta, and this is by far so bomb. Not only does your skin feel so good afterwards, but you're not ashy. So this, the way you use this oil is while you're in the shower, so directly once you're done with your shower after the whole thing, you stay in the shower and you put this directly on your skin while you're in the shower. Now, some people rinse it off. It does, this doesn't tell you whether or not to rinse it off. Now, there are some that do tell you to rinse it off, not rinse it off, etc. But this doesn't tell you to rinse it off or not. But what I do is I actually leave it on. So while, while I'm still wet, because you, you do this while you're wet, you just rub the oil everywhere and it's such a gem it's such a time saver especially for someone like me if you're rushing in the morning like those of you who are going back to the office to work or if you're back in the office working and you be rushing or at nighttime when you're just dog tired and you don't feel like following up with no lotion or cream get you some shower oil yo this is 100 percent vegan cruelty free and this is like i said in the scent lavender and rose and it's relaxing and plant powered aromatherapy so that was another reason why i got this because it is lavender and lavender is really good for relaxing and so i usually i do use this mostly at night time so this has been a favorite like i love it so much that i went to bought i bought two more new bottles so it became really a part of my routine because i realized how much i loved it but if you don't get this brand or this shower oil there are other bath and body um type of lotions and creams and oils you can put on to get the same results but this has just been a fave so shout out to them for this really good product we almost done y'all my next fave <laughs> Matter of fact, let me go ahead. Oh my gosh, y'all. So I don't know if you guys watched my um, perfume haul. Those of you who are new and who are just watching me on this video for the first time, yes, I do have a perfume video and I will be shooting another one soon. So this perfume, this Ch Chance Chanel perfume, perfume, I think it is. I don't know if it's a perfume or perfume. There's a difference, but whatever. This has been my favorite. Now, as you guys can see, this is a big bottle. And um, it may look like I don't use it, but I do. But a little, a, literally a, a spray goes a long way. But this is definitely in my August favorite. Well, well, in my favorites in general. Yes, quarantine. And we've all been in a house. But I do believe that just because you sit in the house, you still want to make sure you keep up with certain routines. And you still want to smell good and feel good. And so I do spray perfume more, even though I'm in the house. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And so um, this... For some reason, this scent... And I have two... I have, the, I have another um, Chance Chanel in the pink color. Um, and I do not love it as much as this. This right here is just so, it's clean, citrusy slash floral type of scent. I cannot describe it, but this is an everyday scent. You can wear this on a date. You can wear this to work. You can wear this just on your outings. This, that's what I love about this scent because it's versatile. It's just bomb. The scent is just bomb. And this has just been in my favorite and so, well, since I realized that this is one of my favorites, I hardly pick up any other perfume. I normally pick this up. I see the lip combo. I just boost. I just did a little more. But anyway, so um, <clears throat> I can't remember what I was saying, but this has been my go-to. This has just been something I pick up every single day. Even if you don't get the big bottle. So what I would first uh, recommend you to do is maybe go smell it and get some little sampler smells and see how it sits on your skin and your clothes all day because everybody's body odor is different. But I'm telling you, I smell, I feel like a grown ass woman when I wear this. Like, no lie, I, I swear, I feel like a grown woman when I wear this. It's just bomb. It's just been my favorite. It's been something that I've picked up every day. And shout out to Chanel for this bomb as perfume. Okay, y'all, next. 
My next favorite are these lashes one that I got on um, by caked up by Dolly so this is a lash company who sells lashes but I'm talking and vegan vegan lashes but not only that because I know everybody tries to sell not everybody a lot of people do do sell lashes but these honey and let me tell you let me just back up so you can get in this look <laughs> These lashes, honey, I'm just going to be honest. I I love lashes, and I have never been good with putting lashes on. Like, you can go through some of my old videos. Some of them I get, I get, I do at times get the mink individual lashes. But there are other videos where, like, no. <laughs> like, uh-uh. Like, I would buy strip lashes, and honey... I'm like, gosh, but I'm like, I'm going to put this video up anyway because I ain't never said I was no makeup artist or nothing, even though I'm getting good. But no, I have become so much better with putting lashes on because of this brand. And no lie, like, it's they're so easy to put on. I don't know why they're so easier or what makes them different from other, but they are so easier and they're light. So, and what I mean by that, like, they even feel light on my eyes. So... These right here I have on are called the Buttercup. These are like my favorite. They just look so elegant and sexy um, all together. But I have different kinds. Like this is the short cake that I'm excited to wear. This is Buttercup I have on. This is Cream Brulee. And the packaging is so cute. Oh, I can't wait to wear these. I'm going to wear these when I'm going out, out. And these ones are called Pound Cake. Y'all, the lashes... I believe range from maybe like 15 to 20 dollars i believe but it's worth every penny as you can see i have quite a few of them because when i order my first pair i'm like oh my god let me just order one this is so expensive and then when i got them i'm like oh my god and when i actually like when i saw them and then like how they look on the website is exactly how they look in person like they are just flawless and super light oh the 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 longevity so these lashes you can use them up to at least 14 wears now with these i have on this is like my fifth time wearing them and they still look good like these are my youtube lashes meaning like when i do videos if i don't got no minks the, these ones right here like this set is my youtube ones so <laughs> when i get to number 15 i'll let y'all know but anyway you can wear the 14 15 times is quite that's a good amount of time to wear lashes because if you, like there are other popular lash companies that when you wear them after the first time throw them away baby like but these no so that was actually my last favorite these lashes by caked up dolly and for most of these products except for probably the slippers i'll try to find something equivalent but i'll have them in the links below so we have entered the end of this video i appreciate you all who actually stayed and watched i know this was not a quick video but i appreciate you all i was so excited to save my favorites if you enjoyed this video comment below if you want to see more favorites because i have so many favorites like i could not put them all in this video but um, if you'd like to see more of my favorites, comment below. If you've used any of these products, comment below. Just interact with your girl, okay? Just interact with me. Follow me on Instagram, too, because I'm trying to become a little more active there, too, all right? So, yeah, we have to end that video. I appreciate you all for watching this, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!